It's hard to believe that the 2024 hurricane season is right around the corner. And if you've been keeping up with the tropical happenings, you may have heard a lot of buzz about potentially a more active hurricane season than even last year, which was pretty active too. This is a name list for this upcoming season, Alberto down to William, and the potential is pretty decently high that we could move on to a supplemental name list. It's only happened three times, two times in history. This would be the third if it happened this hurricane season. 2005 and 2020. We exhausted that name list and remember use those Greek alphabet names. Those have since been replaced with actual names. Two main things are going to drive this hurricane season, a developing La Nina and extremely warm sea surface temperatures across the Atlantic Basin. We've been talking a lot about La Nina over the past couple of years because 2020, 21 and 22 all featured La Nina conditions before we switched to an El Nino this past winter. That has been peak though and we're starting to see the sea surface temperatures which were warmer than normal indicating an El Nino start to cool a little bit. Uh, this is the development region for that El Nino or La Nina and you can see the cooler than normal sea surface temperatures are starting to emerge. Whenever we have a La Nina that reduces the wind shear across the Atlantic Basin. Wind shear is one of the mortal enemies of hurricanes so a lack of wind shear potentially means stronger storms and a more frequency of those tropical storms and hurricanes. Now, sea surface temperatures need to also be about 80 degrees or above for tropical storm and hurricane development. And notice that already in the main development region, the Caribbean Sea, those sea surface temperatures are already 80 degrees or above, which is a little bit abnormal for this time of year. And in fact, across much of the Atlantic, the sea surface temperatures are much warmer than normal already. And we are not even at the peak of those sea surface temperatures, which will happen in a couple of months. Last year, 2023, 20 named storms, seven hurricanes, three of which major hurricanes, but the newest outlook coming from Colorado State University, they're usually the first ones to put out uh, a reliable hurricane season forecast calling for 23 named storms, 11 hurricanes, five major hurricanes, but even that 23 named storms could potentially be a little bit too low. We won't have the official forecast, the official preseason outlook from NOAA until just about a week or two before hurricane season begins begins, but it is expected to be an active season and we'll of course keep you updated on all the tropical happenings across the Atlantic Basin. Reporting in the studio, Sean Bellafuri, KWTX News 10.